Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. I'm hoping that you have had a great week to this point. I hope that you are uh, focusing and progressing towards your goals, whatever they may be. Uh, I hope that you are fully invested in going the distance because it's not about all of the external or ancillary uh, resources and skills. It's about resilience. It's about finishing. It's about being relentless. It's about make up, making up in your mind that no matter what, you're not quitting. You're not going to stop. You're going to achieve your goals. Um, as a performance psychologist, uh, a trauma uh, therapist, life coach, and uh, a number of other hats I wear that uh, circle or center on uh, helping people achieve the best in their lives. Um, I really and truly see a lot from a different perspective and I try to use different times and things as teaching teaching uh, moments. Okay, there's a big thing going on right now. It's trendy. Uh, Simone Biles, uh, world-class gymnast, the most decorated female gymnast in history uh, has done unbelievable things. Um, withdrew from competition first, withdrew from the team competition, then withdrew from the individual all around competition at the Olympics. And the world is losing its mind. Uh, everybody has something to say about it. A bunch of people are upset with her. Uh, she said it was for mental health reasons and I want to talk about that a little bit but what I want to talk about even more is the participation trophy generation um, and what, what, what I mean by participation trophy generation is the idea that someone is rewarded just for showing up and being a part of it and it gives the idea that they should be rewarded for not producing. Uh, I'm not a supporter of participation trophies. I'm a supporter for rewarding those who show up, who put in the work and who get the job done, who excel and stand out at a level that they've earned whatever celebration, reward, award, plaque, trophy you give them. And it's important because it's a development of character that's at play. Even at the uh, uh, smaller levels of Little League and Pop Warner and all of these other things. But this applies in every area of life, not just in sports, in academic achievement, in social engagement. It shouldn't be rewarded just because you show up that you, outside of getting a I showed up every day trophy, if that's what the trophy is about, showing up every day, there is something to celebrate in being present every day and showing up for the children who get rewarded for be, for uh, perfect attendance. I think that's right. You are being rewarded, but you don't get the valedictorian for showing up every day. You've actually got to show up, do the work, and put in uh, put in the work and earn the grades. That's how you get valedictorian. That's how you get summa cum laude. That's how you get magna cum laude. You you've got to actually put in the work. Well, when we talk about these kids and they show up and at the end of the season, every kid gets a trophy. Okay, yes, that means that none of the kids feel bad, but here's life. Life doesn't reward kids or adults. Life doesn't award adults for just showing up. You got to show up. You got to put in the work. You got to stand out. You got to do something exceptional. You got to do something extraordinary. Greatness is not born out of simply showing up. Greatness is born out of putting in the work. Now, what am I talking about? Everybody's upset. Well, not everybody. A bunch of people are upset with Simone because she withdrew. And a lot of that is because a bunch of people are living vicariously through her because they have nothing that they've set up for themselves. They have nothing that they're aspiring to, nothing that they can look at, that they can be invested in, that they can feel good about. So literally, they're getting their good feelings from everybody else that they see that are successful, that they can somehow relate to, whether it be female, whether it be race, whether it be religion, whatever it is. That's how they've lived their life, vicariously through other people who have excelled in what they do. And they are extremely connected to the point that any failure in that person is taken personal. Now, back to Simone. 
Simone Biles is by far one of the greatest female athletes of all time. One of the most celebrated female gymnasts of all time. Has done some moves that no female gymnast has even attempted. And very few, few male gymnasts can pull off. And she has been told that because she's so far ahead of everybody else, giving her credit for being that dominant would make everybody else literally feel bad and put them in a situation where they may attempt to do what she's doing and hurt themselves. What they are ignoring, uh, purposely ignoring, because they are aware, is the fact that for Simone to be able to do what she's done, she put herself at risk. Until she did it the first time, she didn't know it was a risk. It had never been done before, and there's a reason it had never been done before. It is difficult, but it's a sport that rewards degree of difficulty. But we're not going to give her uh, uh, the scale on her difficulty because it's so difficult that nobody else can do it. That means she's that darn good, and that means that everybody else is going to have to up their game while she's in the game. It's that simple. Maybe she's a once in a in a in a, in a in a in a an entire generation or once in a lifetime type person that nobody ever is going to ever do it. And what those moves are going to be known uh, as the moves she did, and nobody's ever going to do it. Or she's going to inspire people to raise their levels, and eventually you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, the fact that. The reasoning is you're so darn good, you're making other people feel bad is a result of this darn participation trophy mentality. I'm entitled to be a part of the discussion just because I'm here. No, you need to be a part of the discussion because you're just that good. And she has raised the bar. And no, I mean, she's literally being punished for being good. And so when she gets to a platform and then she's told, you're going to be that good, but we're going to make sure everybody's close to you in the judging. So no matter how good you are, you're never really going to separate yourself. So one little slight, slight slip up here or there, and even though you've done things that nobody else can do, they can still beat you. That's what you just told her. And then the public is pouncing on her because she says she's withdrawing from mental health. You don't think that putting your entire life into developing yourself into a person who does things so well that it's not just better than everybody else, it's that nobody else can even do it. You don't think that developing that and becoming that person then being told that we're not gonna recognize your hard work, we're not gonna recognize the fact that you're just that good, just that dominant, we're not gonna grade you on a true scale of difficulty, we're gonna grade you on a curve so that everybody can fit in and feel good. You don't think that is pressure on her mental stability, her emotional stability, you don't think that can cause effect to her mental health? Let me explain something to you. There is a rise in suicide among student athletes for a lot of different reasons, but it lets you know that we need to give more attention to mental health. But what we need to do also as a part of that is prepare our children to be better student athletes and be able to deal with the pressure and be able to deal with the fact that if you don't show up, there are gonna be people who get celebrated and you want. You won't because that's the problem now. Everybody wants to be celebrated, but everybody hasn't put in the same amount of work. Everybody hasn't been able to do the same amount of things. And unfortunately, everybody's not as physically gifted as the next person. We're not gonna even get into why. That's a whole nother discussion for another time. But what I wanna talk about is one of the things we have to do as parents, one of the things we have to do as aspiring business owners, as people who are aspiring to do something great in our own lives, is get out of the idea of uh, a notion, uh, a mindset of entitlement, that just because I'm here, I deserve it. No, you deserve it when you create it. You deserve it when you provide it. You deserve it when you accomplish it. When you accomplish it, nobody has to give it to you because you've got it. And that's the thing that we are dealing with right now is a bunch of people are upset. Because number one, they're living vicariously through her. Uh, number two is uh, 
uh, she's being handled by a lot of people who simply don't want to acknowledge just how great she is. And we got a bunch of people who want to be close. And they can't be close because they haven't put in the work. They maybe don't have the uh, physical uh, giftedness that she possesses. She literally, when you study her, she literally defies physics, the law of physics, and some of the things she does. It's absolutely crazy. But she put in the work. She's not cheating. She's just good. And so she shouldn't be punished for it. And I think that her taking a stand is a good thing. Hopefully... Not only will it highlight the need to have more focus on uh, mental health, but also on truly acknowledging the greatness of, of, of people when they're here instead of sitting up and celebrating mediocrity. We have celebrated me mediocrity to the point that being mediocre is acceptable. Being average is acceptable. You know, I mean, we go through a school system where you can get a D and pass, but uh, uh, getting a having showing up with seventy percent in life, which is a D in school, will get you nothing but difficulty, hardships, and never ever truly arriving. But maybe you'll show up at a place that'll celebrate your mediocrity through uh, participation, cele participatory celebrations. That is something that we have got to confront on a grand scale. This is so important on a grand scale, far outside of sports, far outside of the Olympics, far outside of uh, the person who is Simone Biles. Um, and people who are talking about she shrank in, 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 in her moment of opportunity, she shrank in the big moment. She's the most decorated person in 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 uh, uh in, in, in gymnastics. She's by far the greatest of all time. The greatest to ever do it is Simone Biles, and she accomplished much of that long before now at the age of 24. So she did it as a teenager, as a young child. She was showing up on the grandest of stages and performing at levels no one else could do it. And she did it consistently. She's at a point right now where a lot of gymnasts have already retired and she's still the best out there. And so her pulling out doesn't blemish who she's, she's already there. She hasn't shrank. She's just got leverage now because she's that good. Someone posted, and I thought it was funny, but it's it's true, posted, you know, a little diatribe about why she pulled out and, and just mentioned the fact that the uh, gymnast part of the games now is an asterisk. It's the asterisk games, as she put it. And what it means is you won, but you won because Simone Biles wasn't competing. And so it is an asterisk. And, and the thing is, that's the kind of force this little girl, uh, I'm sorry, this young lady uh, com commands. She's that good and she, it's her name. You take her out of that and how many people can name without Googling five other gym, female gymnasts that are competing right now or that have competed? I don't know if it's over or not, but have competed. That's just it. People are tuning in to see her. That's why a lot of people are mad. She took money out of the pockets of a lot of people because a lot of people will not. I, I see people complaining, man, I'm sitting up here now. I got to watch seven, seven man rugby, female rugby or whatever it is that, that they're replacing because they're not showing as much coverage on gymnastics because it's lost its allure. That's how powerful she's leveraging. She's got the right. She's earned it. That's what people who have earned where they're at have the power to do. If I don't like the way something's being done, I can actually respond to it. I don't have to accept it or take it. But what about if the entitled people have nothing? I got to do what I got to do, even though I don't like it. My thing is, we've got to get out of this sense of entitlement. This participation trophy generation has literally set up a bunch of kids for failure because they think they should just have it because.
You're not putting in the work. You're not spending the time in the gym, in the weight room. You're not spending the time in the library, in the study hall. You're not honing your craft. You're not beating on your craft. You're just expecting to show up because if I show up at the very worst, I'm still going to get a trophy. No, you don't deserve a trophy if you haven't earned it. Now, now I, I, I wonder what would happen. And, and see, I, I'm not worried about little little bitty egos and, 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 and little bitty people's feelings being hurt because life isn't going to care either. So you need to teach them without being cruel to them. You need to teach them. Now, what if I start passing out? You rode the bench because you didn't do your work, uh, trophies. I bet nobody would want that. You were here, but all you did was watch because you never put in the work trophies. Or you were here because your mom made you come and you weren't even into sports or into football or basketball or baseball or gymnastics or whatever trophy. How many people will want that? People need to stop being in places and expecting things just because they're there. The truth needs to be reflected in how you're celebrated. Like I said, I have no problem for participation uh, trophies that say it's participation. In other words, I got uh, a plaque that says perfect attendance. There's a value in perfect attendance, but that plaque doesn't say valedictorian. It doesn't say salutatorian. It doesn't say summa cum laude. It doesn't say magna cum laude. It doesn't say cum laude. It just says I was there. Now, if and there's some value to that, but it doesn't automatically qualify me for the greater value. We've got to do better. We've got to do better. For everybody out there, you need to be focused on being your best. And showing up is a part of it, but it's not everything. And on that note, I'm going to get ready to get off of here. If you want to work with yours truly on achieving the next level of success in your life, uh, look at the link uh, or the email address. Reach out. Check out some of the additional uh, benefits. And I would love to work with you. I have a couple of spots available for people who want to be serious about uh, changing their life, changing their situation, doing something exceptional, getting out of the pit of mediocrity and average. It's time to change. On that note, I'm out of here.